I'm so nervous and I don't even know why. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, welcome on board Celebrity Silhouette. This is actually my second attempt at a Celebrity Silhouette uh, vlog. The first one, I don't know if I'm gonna release it or not. Basically the first cruise we had was just like really stressful, didn't go very well, lots of things going on. Um, and so Celebrity Cruises invited us to come back on because having spoken to them, they said, that's not at all um, what we would expect of Celebrity Cruises. So we're giving Silhouette another go. So far, we've been having a really, really good time. There's less guests on. Um, I think they seem to have got COVID under control and the whole atmosphere is different. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on what exactly it is, but it's really, really nice. Welcome to cabin 9200 on board the Celebrity Silhouette. This is a sea terrace or a balcony cabin. So coming in from the front door, you've got the bathroom on the right. Bathrooms are huge for a cruise ship. There's so much space. Coming around here, you have the stunning bed. I'm never a fan of these side tables. They have them on Anthem of the Seas as well. I just end up knocking things off of them. Coming around from the bed, you have a sofa here, your phone, and then here you have a desk, you have these drawers, a little vanity area here, your TV, and then coming out here, you have the amazing balcony. Pro tip for you, the cabin steward brought in all of our luggage and he said it is because of these. Um, we just put them on, I think I got them from eBay, they're just like embroidered tags. We put them on to make it easier to find our luggage on disembarkation day. But the cabin steward said that because of that he was able to bring them into our cabin um, because normally they leave them outside in case they've got the wrong bag. So that is awesome. We went to dinner in Grand Cuvée after the show. The first night is usually difficult for people with allergies, but the Silhouette team were perfect from the start. There are things, they make mashed potato from powder. So when we arrived on board, we were delivered a wonderful bottle of champagne. Then at dinner, the room service manager, who was the one who organised the champagne for us, asked if we might like a cheese plate to go with it. So they delivered a cheese plate, and as if that wasn't enough, one of the maitre d's came up to me and said he had these in his cabin that he bought in Norway last week. And so he gave them to me so that I didn't have just cheese on its own, so that I still had crackers. So here are my parents' crackers. And here are his crackers, which is so kind of him. I just, I can't get over that. We'll very much be enjoying this with a glass of champagne in a second. The distance we have covered since our departure from South Acton is 288 nautical miles. I have a wonderful day on board, a beautiful celebrity silhouette. Good morning internet and welcome to day two. Our first full day on board Celebrity Silhouette. We have spent the morning doing some swimming. I've been in the jacuzzi. I met a really nice woman there as well and then she introduced me to her friends. So we ended up talking for 
I don't know, like an hour. So I'm running a little bit late. It is formal night tonight. I don't have any plans for today. I'm just gonna go and wander around. I say that, it's already almost the afternoon. So I've had my swim. Um, I'm just gonna go and wander, maybe grab a coffee and see where the day takes us. I'm also considering bringing my laptop um, because one of the things I really wanted to get done while we had C days was get some writing done. Um, my blog is so, so badly neglected and I love writing but I never have the time so now feels like a good opportunity. <laughs> After the show we headed to dinner, which again was an incredible meal, and then it was time for something a little bit special for the welcome party in the atrium. Put your hands together for the celebrity silhouette officers! Come on down everybody, come on down! Come on down and look at all these stripes, look at these beautiful people, come on down a bit further, there you go. Of course the celebrity silhouette is a 120,000 tonne floating hotel and one person is in charge of the entire hotel operation. This man is the hotel director on board, his name is Arjan everybody, please put your hands together for Arjan. <laughs> One person gets to have more stripes than anyone else. Please put your hands together for Captain Michael, everybody. Captain Michael! Very good evening. It's my sincere pleasure to welcome you aboard the beautiful celebrity silhouette. My name is Michael Simpuras. I come from Athens, Greece. Myself, along with my officers and nearly 1,100 crew members, look forward to providing you with a cruising experience that is second to none. A cruise that you will remember forever. I look forward to seeing you around the ship over the next days and I hope you take this opportunity to get to know us better as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here this evening and welcome aboard. Thank you. Made it to the martini bar. I don't know where everyone else is, but it's very quiet. So we have our martinis. I mean, we might be on the second round already, but I love the martini bar. It was worth upgrading to the premium drinks package just for this. Although Mum will only drink one. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the martini bar is hard work. It's 1am and we've been in the martini bar. Well, actually it's 20 to 1. We've been in the martini bar this entire time. We just decided that we had the dinner a little bit earlier and so we're actually a little bit hungry. So as you can see, I'm just going upstairs at 12 to go and get some late night snacks before the buffet closes. I thought it might be interesting to take you on a little tour of the Midnight Buffet. Not very good if you're gluten free, um, some nights they did have gluten free pizza but it kind of depended on whether they could be bothered or not. It's mainly used as a staff canteen so I felt a bit out of place if I'm honest. To say that things are more open now is a bit of an understatement. It's one o'clock in the morning and we're drinking French martinis and eating pizza. Confirmed, at one o'clock in the morning they will make you a gluten-free pizza if you ask. And French martinis with extra shambled. This is where I'm going to leave you for this vlog. After the martini bar we headed upstairs for a semi-early night before a day of adventures. Our first stop was Copenhagen where I had one of the best experiences of my entire life so uh, come back soon to see what we got up to but here's a preview. So I've had some weird things happen in my time. <laughs> Let me know.